Hello and welcome to this Boxing Day update video. Today, uh, first of all, I want to thank all of my Patreon supporters for your support. Uh, I want to let you know that the uh, t-shirt giveaway is still going. So if you would like this t-shirt, if you would like to win it, uh, please leave a com comment, a tweet, a toot, uh, email me, whatever you have to do. Send a carrier pigeon and uh, I'll put your names in a hat and we'll do a drawing. Um, and one lucky per person will win this t-shirt. Um, today, I wanted to do something um, interesting. I wanted to do a code review. So many years ago, I had this idea that I would, I would create some YouTube videos where I would review code, not just in Inkscape, but in ge general in the open source world. And then I'd make videos explaining as best I could uh, the process, and the ideas that were contained within the change that the person want, wanted to make. Um, that idea never really developed for fully, um, but part of the work that I do on Inkscape is reviewing other people's code. And so I thought it would be a good opportunity um, for this Boxing Day uh, video to introduce you to some, some, some of the work by basically doing a, a code review uh, that I would have done like I would have done in that, in those videos. Um, now you might be thinking, Martin, surely hell is other people's code. But other well, people's code is but an a la con ride through an ice cream pot parlor compared to uh, trying to maintain somebody else's unreviewed code. Uh, this is why it's very, very important that a good, healthy open source pro project have multiple participants that can basically check each other's code, make sure they're not doing anything silly, ask questions about uh, the kinds of code that they're write writing and what their objectives are. Uh, keeps everybody not just honest, but also like double checking their work, which is good. Um, so we're going to do two code reviews. One is a, uh, a technical code review. Uh, I'm going to try and explain it as best I can in simple terms. And the second is a non-code contribution, because I want to make sure that everybody understands that in Inkscape, you can contribute non-code designs and so forth. Um, so with that, theme song. Okay, so I should explain what a, a, a merge request is before we go any further. When you make a change to Inkscape, um, you will submit what's called a merge request. This is where you are asking the project or the whole community whether your, the changes that you want to make are acceptable by the whole community. Um, many pro projects just allow con contributions to go straight in. Some projects don't accept contributions at all. Uh, our pro project uh, uses this step of requesting to merge as a, as a validation step where we, all the developers, mostly volunteers, can check in on each other's code. Um, okay, so, so we're going to start off by uh, re reviewing merge request 2431. This was from two months ago by Thomas Holt Holder. Um, and it fixes uh, 1947. So here we have some cha changes. There are three files that have been changed. Uh, we start with the canvas file. And uh, we can see that uh, this, this on-size allocation basically means that it's going to try and uh, run this code every time the, the, the space changes for the, for, for the buttons and the wid widgets and things. And you can see it's, Thomas has removed a whole bunch of code. That's what all these red lines are. Uh, so if we scroll down, we can see that this code reappears, but this time instead of canvas on-size allocate, it's now desktop widget on-size allocate. Uh, and it looks like this code has just reappeared uh, but with some more comments, which is nice. Um, it's doing some good checks. Uh, and, and I'm basically che checking to make sure that this code is still good. Uh, even though it's just been copied, I think it's been modified as well. But I should treat, treat it as if it's new code. All of these green lines are, are new lines that have been added in. Okay, so we're going to basically make sure that when I change the window size that the, the document stays. Uh, and then I'm overriding the on size allocate. This is because when the widget ch changes size, you want to make sure that uh, GTK is basically handling down the, the right request. Um, 
yeah, and it keeps the de desktop centered, which is nice. Um, this looks right, uh, and you can see that it's already been merged in, so it was definitely approved when it went in. Um, and I can see, I can add a com comment here, because I'm not quite sure what these two variables are doing, underscore width and un underscore height. Um, so I'm just going to tell Thomas, uh, basically I'm asking him a qu question in, in the merge request. Um, what do these do? do they, are they still being used? Um, and I'll start a review. Uh, basically, this creates a dialogue between two two developers to you know make a decision about what what kind of code we should have. Um, and, and that's about it. I can submit that. Uh, okay. Next is okay, Jean's uh, add consistency between Z or order buttons merge request two five five six. This is a non code uh, contribution, which is really great. And you can see he's added in some. Um, uh, as well as the description, he's added in some screen screenshots, basically saying, you know, this is what it was like before, uh, and this is what it will be like once this change has gone in. That's that, that can be a great way to so a reviewer can actually see what to test and what, what to expect. Uh, usually, we we download this code as well whenever we are doing a merge request uh, review, a code re review, so we compile it and we run it ourselves. Um, so having a good description can be really helpful. Um, programmers can be some, so sometimes very terse about uh, providing descriptions, which makes it harder to understand what's going on. Uh, but you can see here, uh, it's very straightforward. He's changed some XML files. He's moved this line to that line, um, and he's you know reordered these lines in the code. They, they, these these um, lines don't look like they've changed at all. They've just moved around. Um, so it's a very straightforward change to, um, you know, one one commit, and it ch changes the visual the visual elements. So uh, thanks for jo joining me in this uh, very brief uh, code review. I, I know I've, I've very quickly gone through it um, because I want to keep these update videos shorter. Uh, but let me know what you think. Um, I like being able to show you all of the different parts of how Inkscape is developed. Uh, and I'm interested to know which parts of development you're more most in, interested in seeing more of. Uh, thank you for jo joining me this week, uh, and until next week.